does Lane Kiffin have Ole Miss now entering his fourth year? They're in a good spot. Uh, you know, they have, you know, they have you know four quarterbacks and one of the best running backs in the country. Um, but yeah, you know, he it's just so, such a hard lane to get out of uh, because they're they're kind of in that middle of of the SEC West and they have to play all those other schools and uh, I I. I you know, he got the big contract. I'm sure he's happy with that. But at, at some point, Lane beat somebody. Uh, and, and he just has not done that very well. You look, You mentioned the quarterbacks. I mean, Spencer Sanders transfers in from Oklahoma State. Jackson Dart tra- or is back after he transferred yeah. in from USC. Uh, Will Howard, he was an all-everything recruit for LSU. And Brian Kelly transferred in. They got another young quarterback. I mean, the quarterback room, you could argue, is the best in the country. I don't know how he's going to keep all of them, but we'll find out if Lane Kiffin's got that magic. Quinshawn Judkins, as you mentioned, a record-setting freshman year. He seems to me to have everything he needs to surprise a lot of people in the SEC West this year. But you look at that schedule after the first three games at Alabama, home against LSU and Arkansas, and then at Auburn. It's like, Lane, who did you piss off in the league office to get a stretch – of that four and and that's it right there for me. But it's not a talent thing with, with Lane and Ole Miss. Cause I think they stack up as good as anybody in the sec. It's the gauntlet they're going to have to get through towards the end of September and early October. Yeah. And he's got an utterly bizarre road game early at Tulane, which I know people are going, <laughs> I, I, know, I know Tulane is not the same this year as they were in the bowl game, but, right. but still, I mean, that, that's like a weird one. Um, and I, I, I think I just I don't know how he navigates the schedule. Uh, I, I, so that's why I'm probably not as high on Ole Miss. But yeah, that, that, all, all they have to do is upset somebody. Uh, but that's the problem Lane has had. He sometimes he gets in his own way, and he did that last year. It's getting over the hump too. You know, it's it's being as good as you can be talent wise with everybody else and hanging on the field with everybody else. And then it's getting over the hump and having that really special season that puts you in Atlanta with the SEC championship. You lost the Egg Bowl last year and what ended up being Mike Leach's final game. Um, but I, look, Lane is good for football. Lane is good for the SEC. Uh, he's good for social media. Uh, the the um, back and forth that he has with other coaches. You just add him to another talented group of teams in the West. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.